Hey folks, Harstum, his fall from grace, his ship is sinking after Art takes him down in the upper bracket, but he's got one more shot. You gotta run into King Cobra, who is, he doesn't play Protoss, he plays his own weird brand of shenanigans, it's fantastic to watch. Can Harstum do it? Does King Cobra have a big upset in his future in this lower bracket of Drew Heckmasters Valencia closed qualifiers? I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. But before we get into it, I would like to remind you that I upload one video in 4K, one StarCraft mod every single day of the week now that I have time again. So if you like that, if you find that valuable to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, hey, give it a like. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like or just what you thought of the games. But also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, EPT in North America, every Saturday for EPT Korea. So make sure to check that out. And now, enjoy Harstim versus King Gobra. Oh, that's unfortunate. I forgot to start recording like the first minute of this game. But it's fine. It's Danny. It's okay. YouTube will just hate me forevermore. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever again. Only cast Astraea games. Well, okay, that makes you my favorite caster because I love Astraea. Because, you know, he is, uh, he's on my team. He's a good guy. And he's back in Korea. Unfortunately, he didn't get the Korea buff for EBT Korea last night. But it's okay. Because, well, Beyond won. Beyond beat him or, no, Gumiho beat Astraea, but then Beyond beat Gumiho. That was fine. Because Beyond got the birthday buff. He played some insane games. It uh, looks like King Cobra put a pylon in the wall, locking Harstim in. The... Wait. Okay, no, that's a Harstim next. <laughs> for a second. I mean, it's sometimes one of those things where you're just looking for cheese, and then you're just imagining it wherever it lands. Oh, I mean, I never updated the bracket command. My Apollo, I'm bad. Oops, a daisy. All right, so Cobra. Oh yeah, you know what? We talk about cheesy Protoss, but one thing he's known for is disgusting carrier rushes. So we're gonna have to see how well that works out for him. Uh, Immortal's on the way for now. Um, also, a Void Rare Immortal, Phoenix Immortal. Sounds that he's a big fan of. So we're gonna have to see just what he wants to go for here because Robo into Stargate is not a normal thing you do. It really is not. Okay, Oracle to start. And I mean, that makes sense, right? You get yourself some map presence. It's gonna get scouted out immediately. So that's somewhat annoying but we have to remember king cobra he's doing king cobra builds so that means no warp game <laughs> you don't get that you just go full on robo stargate you expand you do whatever you just build this army that uh, harstim can never fight so we're gonna have this really interesting setup where the game will it will be incumbent upon harstim to find value to ex out expand king cobra or to break him before he hits critical mass because King Cobra on Critical Mass is still scary. It's a lot of Immortals, a lot of... Uh, we're going to have to see maybe Void Rays, maybe Phoenixes, maybe just straight to carriers. I mean, who knows? King Cobra's got a lot of ways that he makes this happen. But for now, it's just a single Oracle sitting at home. Although he's going to send it across the map right now and nothing out of that Stargate. That is... Harstim is going to be continuously sending Hallucination Scouts into the main base to see what comes out of the Stargate. Because again, that's kind of the most important thing. Ah, yep. Okay, quick carriers. Fleet Beacon on the way. Uh, 
Uh, Corn Muscles, I think you were certainly the first person I ever co-cast with. Probably the first one to ever cast one of my games, too. Back when I was, like, in Silver League. Yeah, man, this this Oracle play is really interesting. We don't even see King Cobra attempting to get damage done. He says, yeah, okay, you know, I'll be defensive. That's fine. I, I'm literally getting this for Stasis Trap. But... Wait a minute. This is for a quick mothership? Huh. Hey, new meta. Next evolution to play. Stalkers, though, from Arson. They're going to show up around this third base. They're going to try to make something happen. Targeting down these static defenses start here as they find their way inside the bubble. So our mortals will start to fall. as shield batteries are not done just yet. Arson's blinks are good. And I... It's going to be a struggle now for our King Cobra to really hold this off. I mean, he does have a shield battery, at least. And there is that. Okay, there we go. Carrier's coming out one by one. A snake with fangs dripping with hot raclette cheese. Sure to give anyone an instant heart attack. Shiny Parmesan scales glistening in the sun. Deep yellow eyes staring like the most insane cheddar. A poem to fet our cheesy protoss. There we go. Blinking out of the stasis trap. It's always impressive regardless of whether it happens. It just, it's fancy. It's like blinking out of a widow mine. You, you, everyone knows you can do it. And every poor player can do it. But it doesn't make it any less cool. Okay, so now the mothership arrives, and... <laughs> sure, it's a seven-minute mothership. mothership. Okay. I'll take it. Why not? I mean, yeah. Okay. Thank you, King Gerber. Thank you for giving me a different idea of how BVB works, because it makes me very happy. Now, plus one will be done soon enough, and carriers are going to start to hit the field. But before that happens, charge lots are going to be a rather terrifying thing. I mean, a rather terrifying thing. For now, of course, Archon's on the way. Do a really good job against Interceptors. We're going to have to see what happens here. Here's Harstim kicking off the engagement. Of course, Stasis Traps are scary, and he can't really see them. So he's going to, yeah, there he goes. going to trigger, trigger it with one. Archon's running forward now. One carrier has joined the fray, and uh, you got to find some way to knock this mothership down. I, well, actually, there's an Observer, so you can kind of take the fight. Uh, interceptors are doing what they can, but they're really not doing all that much just yet. The Archon, though, it, uh, it evaporated. It disappeared immediately. So sure, Ar Harstim's up 20 army supply. But this army that King Curver is making is, is stupid expensive. And we'll just find so much value over time. So Zealous run in. Again, you got to be careful. Because uh, these are plus one carriers. They do start to add more. Static defense is a powerful, powerful thing. Arsum, though, he does have his fourth base on the way. He's got a couple Zealots in the natural. And it's going to be able to do something until, of course, well, the mothership arrives. And now we have disruptors on the field. On top of that, I almost want to see Harstim just go, and uh, he's going to commit to it right now, though. We're going to see Mortal get targeted down. One, two, blinking forward, because there's detection. There we go, but he's at, just out of range, so Immortals fall. The Disruptors, they stay alive. I almost want to see Harstim just go and get uh, get a Stargate just for Oracles, so he can permanent revelate on things, but now he's going to run forward here. Disruptor Shot's not really going to hit too much. They're actually not going to hit anything, so Carrier's... They're getting targeted down here. Zealots running forward on top of this ground army. Second carrier should fall. Harson doesn't target it down. Not a, not enough vision, I guess. Now Zealots run forward once again. Harson doing a pretty good job of zoning things out. He's up 30 supply. He's into the third base to start to kill a bunch of workers. Certainly the static defense will fall soon. And now stocks blink forward. Uh, Disruptor falls. Immortals fall. You got to be careful of that one, though. It's going to be a big shot, but I don't know how much it really does matter at the end of the day. Harson, he's up 30 supply. He's broken the third base. 17 workers are down. Or up 30 army supply, excuse me. 17 workers have died. And yeah, we have uh, disruptors and, and carriers and all of these wonderful things, but Harstim does not really seem to matter all that much. And there we go. Another disruptor falls. The carriers, uh, they're popping down now. Harstim, he found the break. Cobra's mech, because that's what this is. He's not making it happen. Harstim up one. In the bottom right here, in the red. He's down one. Looking to make his style work. He's King Cobra.
and the upper left in the blue an unstoppable force parsed him So the next stage, now that I have all these emotes done, I really like the robot one, is I need to get it so the robot, they have like a, an animated robot lifting the GG sign up. And the best part about streaming Stargard is I just get to see all the in insane um, emotes that people have. So King Cobra, wait a minute. King Cobra stole both gases on the natural. <laughs> oh, he stole three gases. He stole all three. Wait a minute here. That's, oh, that is gross. And he's gonna cheese off this, of course. I mean, you know, you steal three gases, you're gonna have a gas advantage. And you know that that does mean that there's gonna be some shenanigans happening here. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but... Oh man, King Cobra. This should not be, this should not be viable, everything he does, but he makes it work anyway. We're gonna have to see if it works in this game though. Because there we go, Robo going down. Three gate Robo is gonna be the response that Hearthstone cannot do. What he attempted to do versus art there will be no stargate follow-up it's just gonna be less gateways or uh maybe two gate robo because that that robo that gateway popping down right now is not the third gateway it's only the second because this was a one gate expand or a one gate opener from king cobra but okay there we go that's the additional gateway King Carver moving into three gate robo behind this. Harstem already dropping static defense, of course, but he needs the gas to be able to do any real relevant something. He does need the gas, so he's going to take it in the natural. As we have a chrono on this, but a big deal until right now. Harstem had no idea what this was. He didn't know that this was three gate robo. Now he does. We're going to have to see how he adjusts his hold to make this happen. I think it bare min. Oh, four gate. Okay, it's going to be four gate. So he's going to get the warp prism for the. Uh, well, you get the rubble for the warp prism. You just build four stalkers at a time. You say, hey, let me bowl you down. Bowling for stalkers. So Harstim adding a robo himself now that he can mine out of two gas. He will have warp gate done fairly soon. Chronoing out zealots. Interesting. I think that's a misread. Uh, oh, no, no. You know what it is? He's just out of gas. <laughs> he did not have it because his gas has been stolen for so long. He doesn't have any gas and it becomes a bit of a problem. Now, stop. Uh, these aren't sentries, are they? Oh, there is a sentry in the main base. Harsim is going to get walled out, and it's just going to be an immediate recall. He could have found his way up the high ground, uh, but now you just wall off the low ground. Oh, my goodness. King Carberry is a brilliant man. But there we go. Yeah, Stalker doesn't find his way down anyway. Zealots on the low ground are doing something. We're going to have a bunch of Adepts warp in here, and uh, that doesn't work out all that well because Stalkers are here. I'm not a big fan of the uh, Adept warp in personally. I mean, sure, maybe they're good against Zealots, but and they can run through force fields, but they're just all going to go down. One, two, three. Three workers have died, and that's about it. A smart move. Brilliant move there from King Cobra. But it's a bit scary here. Is he just going to warp in Zealots? Oh, we're going to see. We have to, have to have some good kiting. So that's how King Cobra chooses to make this happen. He builds Zealots. He spends all the gas on Immortals. I guess that's that's how you afford four gate and still producing out of your Robo on one base. And it seems to be working for now. 11 workers have died. Harstam now falling below. Falling low in the worker count. Stark's trying to get on top of the warp prism, but it's not hull damage. Zealots fall, but 11 workers die. Harstam... Still on two bases, though. There's no wall. There's no wall. Adepts in the natural. Uh, some stuff in the main base. There's not a lot of production right here from uh, <laughs> from King Cobra. He doesn't have a lot of money. And the immortal will survive. Uh, sentries will survive. One sentry will survive. Starker survives. But on the backside. Adepts, they get four more workers, and normally you say that's not a lot, but in this game, when it really is only 22, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, Stalkers, though. Damage on this. 
And King Cobra's adding a Robo Bay. <laughs> King Cobra's adding a Robo. Okay. Okay. I love this man. I love this man more than I ever could have thought possible. Now, the War Prism will die, though. And with that, these Adepts will not get much damage. Anyways, because Stalkers, they outrun them. They outrange them. There's a shield battery. Yeah, they're not getting anything. So, from that perspective, War Prism's now down. That's not great. It's going to require a hallucination to actually go and start to wail away at this gateway. Stalkers got to be a little careful. Going down the ramp is scary with all these sentries here. And there we go. The Observer will fall. But Arson trying to find his way out. I, again, he has to be very careful here. This is this is spooky business indeed. And he's now only down on two gateways, which is something he will have to remediate, considering you know, he's got four. Adept into the main base. And that's actually not something Harstam is responding to as of yet, but Shield Batter doing a good job for now because actually the, the Adepts are stuck. They're not one, they're not pairing their shots. So, well, eventually something's gonna go down, but yeah, Har King Carper saying, I don't have enough Harstam, 2-0. In the bottom left here. In the right, he's down two. His shenanigans not worked yet. It's King Cobra. And looking to maintain his spot as one of the top Protoss in Europe. He is for the Shop of, Rebe Shop of Five Rebellion. It's Harston. Okay, how many gas? Arst uh, the answer is none, but Hey, King Cobra, you know what? He's a cannon rusher. Cannon rusher extraordinaire. Four pylons go down. Harstam immediately going for the counter cannon rush. And we're gonna have to see how well this one works out. So you gotta make sure that this cannon doesn't go down because there we go. Okay, probe in the main base now. Harstam's gotta pull a couple probes to defend. One cannon on the way on the low ground, just looking to defend this, but already. Okay, that's a pylon, I'm sorry. Or just not yet done here. Uh, probes are going to get pulled. You got It's four probes to kill a cannon before it completes. So at the very least, you want to prevent the high ground cannons from really getting up here. Harstim, uh, he's committing a lot of probes to this defense, which is some, you know, it's what you got to do. Oh, he's going to, yeah, there we go. One probe goes down. That's actually really fantastic. This doesn't matter. This cannon rush does not matter unless cannons go up on the high ground. And this probe is getting rather low indeed. Losing the pylon's annoying, but we will see... Uh, this will be able to get repowered somewhere else. Zealot zoning things out. Probe finds itself in a corner and one more Zealot. Oh, Harstam going to the wrong spot. It's like putting, and it's like trying to hurt cats. Okay, there we go. Pylon goes down, but there, again, the counter cannon rush and the probe. Oh, so low. So, so low. Harstam will eventually be able to get away out of the way of things. Actually, no, he's going to repower this one. And uh, let's see, one pylon will go down. This is a, yeah, the pylon out of cannon. A zealot shilling away at this, but certainly cannon cannot really hit that. So I think this gateway falls regardless. More, uh, okay, there's a shield battery. It's Stargate defensively. And I, uh, this is not working for King Gobra. He just doesn't have the ability to push into the base as well as he would like. Yeah, he gets the gateway, but Harstam's vision is... St oh, well, actually... Oh, Cannon has range to the forge. That's not the best thing there for Harstam. I mean, should still be fine. As There we go. Probes are going to get pulled, so this is going to be a dead zealot. Nice job there, Harstam. Not losing a single one. Good micro. And I, I, Harstam, I, I bet he wishes that this forge was just slightly further back. But... End of the day, it's not really the biggest deal because you do have that Cannon Shield battery. Oracle's going to pop out. And uh, Oracle's an interesting decision because it does mean that he can go and just exert his will on the other side. Maybe. But it's not something that kills cannons. Not something that, that kills pylons all that well. And we're going to see one adept built, but uh, one adept does not kill probes. Not with the shield battery there, not with the cannon there. So Zealot defensively, and uh, Oracle should just about complete now. War Prism on the way. Uh, that Zealot does not want to go down. Okay, there we go. Oracle on the other side of the map, and there we go. There we go. That's what we need. Void Ray on the way here. And an Oracle, ha yeah, Oracle just returns home. So says, let me make sure that that Adept goes down. Uh, not sure where that stutter was, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, adept in the mineral line, but it shouldn't get too... Well, actually, there are a couple wounded probes. So if he targets those down, it's going to be something. But Zealot occupying its attention. And that really should do it here. Arsim's not going to lose more than one probe. There we go. It's dead. Adept is dead. Oracle under the other side. There's a shield battery here, but 
Actually, there's a shield battery and a Phoenix. So Harstam's just going to be forced to recall. Uh, not the end of the world either way. But Harstam, we can consider him, him ahead just again because his economy is better. And a Oracles are excellent defensively against Adepts. Assuming you turn on the Pulsar Beam. Which, there we go. So this Adept is actually going to get a little bit more uh, because Oracles run out of energy. So three more workers do go down. And th that should be the end of this base, though. Or the end of this uh, set up here as the Phoenix flies on the other side of the map, but it's not going to do much. Now Harstim, prepared to take his natural. And I feel like this is going to be one of those games where because she's failed, it goes forever because yes, Cheese has failed. Uh, Harstam is in a good, is in an excellent spot, but it's not like he has a lot of counterattack potential, and it's not like King Cobra has the ability to end the game either. So, Harstam is just going to greet out. He understands that really there's nothing King Cobra could, that that King Cobra can do that will kill him. But yeah, it looks like he wants to put some light pressure on. I mean, he does have more stalkers. It's six stalkers to three. Phoenix are nice. Or, sorry. Seven stalkers to zero. There are no stalkers on the map. It is just Phoenix Immortal on the way from King Kerbera. And while Blink is not done, while Harstam is still waiting for his natural, doesn't really have a robo, no, nothing like that, the stalkers can still find pressure. You got to be careful. If you get lifted up by the Phoenix, it, it is problematic. And certainly with a warp prism, or not with a warp prism, excuse me, a shield battery, uh, it becomes complicated. But it uh, looks like Harstam says, oh, okay, I, I know what's up here. I'm not going to throw away my army away. They're my blood bond. I shall defend them with my life with every little bit, ounce of strength in my body. Until I need to sacrifice them because I've maxed out and need to build carriers instead. But that's a different story. And certainly we know zealots, they don't die. They teleport back up to the mothership when they die. That's what the soul escaping is. It's not a soul, it's uh, the actual them getting teleported out. As not Phoenix are gonna lift up. They did a... They got a sentry, okay, that's what that was. And we're going to see Harstam just look to take advantage of this position that he has. So quicker third base. Building a couple gateways. Uh, plus one will be slower, but it's going to time out similarly enough. And I think we're just going to see him look to hit with just tons of... Just tons and tons of stalkers try to break through this. Because... Phoenix Immortal is a really weird composition. It It's one of those things that either wins or it doesn't. And uh, yes, technically every game you either win or you lose. I guess you have ties occasionally, but... It's one of those things where your opponent has critical mass of stalkers and is able to kind of punch through anyways, or they don't, and uh, the immortals shred everything. But there is no in-between. Not really. But now King Cobra getting aggressive here on the map. He says, I have Phoenix. I have Immortals. Hear me roar, but Stalkers going forward. One Phoenix goes down. That's going to be rather nice. Warpins of a couple Stalkers as well, because why not? King Cobra wants to put the hammer on tongs. He wants to take a map from Harstim, and we're going to have to see what Harstim allows him to do. So running back to where stack defense is. Phoenix popping down pretty quickly. Archon is just not all that useful right now. Uh, you need really charge lots and charge is done in three seconds the probes are going to get pulled here defensively trying to make sure that harstam stays alive war prism not going down just yet but here's the charge lots they are so damn good against pretty much everything that king Cobra does have but another warp in a zealous they're going to do something so two immortals are all that remain the army supply of harstam falling down into a corner and folks i think we see our first map win for king cobra uh, the cannon rush didn't really work but king cobra was able to make it work, make it work anyways he's got a map it's a series now In the upper left, he's up two. He's actually up one now for the Shopify Rebellion. It's Harstim. Or King Cobra. I read it wrong. Oops. In the bottom right, actually this time, he's up a map. His name is Harstim. <laughs> K 
Can you folks tell that I haven't slept enough? Sorry about that. But yes, in general, that is how King Cobra plays. He has killed Cyril with his two-base carrier style. He has killed players far better than him because the cheesy man is, has a cheesy plan. I mean, Charizards have always been good in PvP, uh, Dave Testa. I, they're just a timing. They move from core army composition to... I'm going to warp in 20 zealots and kill a base. But they are useful pretty much... Once charge is done, I mean, they're useful in almost every stage of PvP. So what shenanigans do King Co does King Cobra have in store for us in Game 4? Had a really good, yeah, King Cover played that game three really well. He had such a crisp timing. A little longer, I think Harston holds that. Maybe 30 seconds longer. He has more charge lots. He's able to take the fight. He's got maybe got a second arc on. Uh, but King Cover hit right before all that, before Harston's plus one was done. Just really an excellent timing. And guess what? We got a proxy once again. Proxy Robo. It worked out for him once. Well, no, it didn't work out for him. It almost did. But it did not. So we're going to see Proxy, probably Proxy, proxy 3 gate Robo. Let's be real. Uh, last time, he 4-gated. And he just got a lot of Zealots. Which allowed him to go in and spend the rest of his money on getting Immortals. Extremely greedy. Um, extremely tech-heavy 4-gate. Not something you see all that often. We're going to see if he goes for that one here. Harstam, he's only defending one base, though. Because this is not Pride of Altaris. This is Berlin Grad. There is no low ground ramp. Although it looks like he's going to take his natural soon enough. He's not aware of what's happening just yet. But okay, yeah, now he is. He shouts this. And most importantly, he scouts this with a Stalker. So he will be able to force that second pile. And Stalkers are going to rotate over pretty soon. Man, there we go. So actually, yeah, with three Stalkers, so this should depower the pylon pretty quickly. Even before the Stalkers of King Cobra arrive. It's going to force two more Stalkers. And... Uh, King Cobra can't even take this fight because his stalkers are not here yet. This is a disaster for King Cobra for the Russian Protoss. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna lose the stalker too. Arstim moving in. There we go. That's dead, which means the Zealot's gonna die as well. And yeah, an Immortal pop out. Well, an Immortal still beats four stalkers. <laughs> an Immortal still beats four stalkers. Um, which is always funny. And the stalkers warp in here as well. Arstim. He's just trying to do what he can to keep his opponent away from his base as long as possible to allow him time for static defense, allow him time for additional gateways to pop, things like that. But there we go. Stalker's going to run in. One Stalker Harstim dies, but a Stalker for King Cobra dies in the exchange. Zealot stays alive. What is happening with that production tab? Flip, flap, flip, flap, flip, flap, back and forth. But we're fine now. Okay, three depths. In the, yeah, the three depths in the main base are not going to do all that much. Harstim will lose the pylon on the natural, and this will supply block him slightly. But Blink is about to be done, and Blink is a great way to deal with this one. It means the immortals are far less powerful. Adepts into the mineral line did not complete their shade. Here they go once again. This time it's splitting up. It's giving. Uh, it's just a scout. Okay. Looking to see if there's any additional tech from Harstam. But Harstam, he says, yeah, I'll counter your 3-gate Robo. I'll counter with 3-gate Blink. So a little bit of run by Stalkers down to the bottom side. Four Stalkers kill Probe, so I assume that is what Harstam is looking for. But now Harstam is going to be able to depower a gateway, depower the Robo. Uh, and it, there are two pylons, so that is 16 supply that King Cobra is lacking. So he will get supply block pretty heavily off that one. You're going to get some adepts as well. Uh, so Harstam is just finding value everywhere on the map. The pressure, the cheese that King Cobra went for did not work out at all. And sure, Harstam, he doesn't have a natural. But I don't think he's going to get a natural. Well, I was, as I say that, he does get the natural. Cast a curse, please. I was going to say, I don't think he gets a natural in this game. I think he goes aggressive. But that is not the name of the game. Yes, exactly. Charge lots better than charge, uh, greater than charge little. Absolutely. You'll love it. 
dad jokes, best jokes. But what is that in the main base now? One adept, it's not really getting much of anything. Yeah. Gets two workers. Okay. All right, so I'm actually now down workers a little bit because his natural is that delayed. Uh, so the question now is, is how aggressive does Harstim look to be now with his blink? Okay, it's just an observer. How aggressive does Harstim look to be with his blink? He's up almost double the army supply. He's got a lot of blink stalkers. They're powerful units indeed, but he doesn't really have a way to resupply all that well. There's no robo. There's no pylon on the map. Nothing like that. So it, with the army that he has right here is really the army that he will have. Although, in fairness, this is Berlingrad, and your rush distance is pretty damn short. But we're going to have to see. He's going to look to trigger the hardened shields to start and, and then see where this game takes him. But for now, a zealot will eventually die. His shield batteries are good, but not that good. And Arsene just kind of play at the edge of things. It, it, it's not enough to break King Cooper, I don't think, but it is enough to force pressure. It is enough to make King Cooper a little bit antsy. As Harstam establishes his situation. Of course, King Cobra, he's got not doing the normal thing. He's got a Dark Shrine on the way because when behind Dark Shrine, the Stalkers, they're forward. They kill a Stalker. They don't die. Gateway and the Dark Shrine. They're going down, but unfortunately for King Cobra, uh, this is a game where Harstam is getting observers. It's not just a pure Twilight opener where you delay Robo for forever and a day. So now the Stalkers again moving forward. Shield Battery out of energy and now we're going to see Harstim start to trigger away or fire away at that one knocking that down means that there will be no shield battery overcharge which means he will be able to kill the immortals just bling on top of them kill them off knock them dead and there we go shield battery recharge is not even good enough immortals are getting targeted down here one two three shots they're dead shield battery recharge only doing so much here and now the war prism in the main base yeah harstim is aware of this one he's going to knock down the observer as well that doesn't really matter harstim doing so much damage on the other side there we have it the captain writes his ship it will not sing cobra's venom harstim's got the anti-venom and he qualifies to dreamhack